All right, if you watch the show regularly, you do know that i um, not only a student of the martial arts, that's a passion of mine. There's no more elite venue for mixed martial arts in the world than the UFC, and of course, it's iconic octagon, and they're must watch events. But tonight, breaking news from outside the arena where UFC president Dana White, he just announced that Bud Light, yes, the Bud Light, will become the official beer partner of the league. Now, after veering off course, which I thought was stupid, into the, you know, woke cultural wars in the country, uh, is this a strong message from Anheuser-Busch and Bud Light that uh, we've heard you loud and clear and we're getting back on track? Anyway, here with more on all of this, this brand new partnership is UFC President, CEO Dana White is with us. You know, so I had you on my radio sh show today, been on radio 30 plus years, been here, I'm in my 28th year at Fox. And, you know, what's interesting to me is I refuse to call for boycotts, firings, cancellations, any of this stuff. I'm against all of it. I didn't like, I thought it was stupid of, of Budweiser or Bud Light to get into that controversy. Just dumb. And I have no idea why they waded into those waters. <laughs> but my fear from the beginning was not the person that made the dumb decision or the people that made the dumb decision. When I saw this taking hold, I was concerned about the people that work for Bud Light. Those are high paying career jobs. And I said that publicly. And I'm hoping, you know, everybody knows who you are, Dana. No holds barred, kick ass, take no prisoners. I don't give an Adam Schiff. You are in anybody's face. So they purposely went with you. Tell us about it. Yeah, you know, well, first of all, let me start with, uh, you know, they, they were the first beer company that we really did business with. They're our first real big sponsor uh, when we were getting started. And now we're back with them. And going into this deal, you know, I, I know all the controversy and everything else. But for myself, going into a long term deal with another sponsor, I want to be with somebody that I'm actually aligned with. And I know people were were upset with what they did, but uh I'm looking at all the good things that they do. You know, they, they employ 65,000 Americans. They have thousands of vets that work for them. They spend $700 million a year with U.S. farmers using their crops to make their products and many, many other great things that Anheuser-Busch has done uh, in this country. And those are the things that I'm focused on. Uh, when I look at a long-term sponsor that's going to be, we're going we're to do a six-year deal here. I want to be with somebody that I'm aligned with. All those things that I just mentioned to you are what I'm all about. And not to mention, they, they have this thing called Folds of Honor. I'm very big into law enforcement and military. And over the last, I don't know how many years, they've spent like $45 million taking care of, uh, you know, these servicemen and first responders who have died, taking care of their families, scholarships for their kids and things like that. So. I am very aligned with Anheuser-Busch. All right. So let me be clear about a few things. Um, there were other beer companies that wanted to, to partner with you, correct? Um, you certainly, I know you don't need the money because you have more money than anyone could ever want in probably <laughs> 4,000 lifetimes. So you didn't do it for the money. You didn't do it, you know, you, you did it for the reasons stated, but you also knew, and it's already happening on social media, that you'd be attacked, you'd be accused of selling out. I want you to respond to those people. Well, let's be clear. When you do sponsorships, you definitely do sponsorships for the money, too. Uh, money is definitely a, a part of it. But money was not the decision-making. Uh, you know, well, it wasn't the reason that I made the decision. All, all the things that I just told you are why. I mean, there's more um, to being aligned with a sponsor, a major sponsor like that, for as long as I'm going to be, um, you, you know, th there are many other things that are important to me other than just the money. And, and the people that were all involved in this negotiation on every side absolutely positively know that my choice was not determined by money. Yeah, I know that. You know, one of the things that I would say is, you know, when you factor in what you said about their support of the military, when you factor in that they support U.S. farmers, uh, when you, you, you factor in... For me, the most important things, I, I knew it and it did happen. I knew great people that work for Budweiser once those, the beer sales slipped dramatically because it was a strong message that what the hell are you doing? Why are you diving into these cultural wars? It was stupid. 
I'm sorry, you, at that time, your partner, your new partner was being stupid. They should never have gotten into the political arena like that. <laughs> um, but I do think, and I hope right. this, and I'm a Christian, I believe in second chances, forgiveness, right? I'm hoping that maybe for the sake of the people that need their career jobs back to pay their mortgages, car payments, rent, and, and need those career jobs and get their health insurance back, that maybe people might consider giving them another chance with the clear understanding if they screw up again like this, they're never coming back. And you might be the guy that's able to bridge that gap, maybe to give this company another chance and maybe give another look at it. And I, I know how much you offer from other companies. It wasn't about the money. Um, but yeah, everything's about the money, but it's not. So I hope for the workers that it works out for them because they were innocent victims in this and they're good people that need those jobs. So I'll give you the last word. Yeah, the, the, you know, the, that's what I say, too. And, and it's about, uh, listen, like I said before, they run their business. They do their thing. Um, they, they do a lot of great things. They do a lot of great things. They employ 65,000 people in this country. They take care of farmers. Uh, and you, did you know that when there's big disasters, they shut the plant down and they turn it into a, a water bottling facility and they've they bottled like 100 million uh, bottles of water that they've sent out to disaster areas. This, I'm going to focus on the good that they do. We are very aligned in many different areas, and that's why they're going to be my partner for the next six years. Look, I admire you. You knew that you'd get incoming. You did it anyway. You have strong reasons why you did it. Um, I really cared about then, and I care about now, the workers. And you know what? All these other things that you brought up that I also support, the military, law enforcement, all these things, amazing. By the way, why didn't Elon Musk and Zuckerberg get in the uh, octagon? Uh, you said you <laughs> talked to both of them. What happened? Uh, I want to see that. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people want to see it. Uh, you know, I don't know. Listen, I never say never, but yeah. I don't know. We'll, 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 see. we'll see. We'll see how this plays out. It was all, uh, to me, it was all talk. Elon, get in, the, get in shape, get in the octagon. Zuckerberg, get ready, game on. Everybody will see it. Do it for charity. It'll be a great event for everyone. All right, Dana, it's interesting. Uh, good luck with the partnership, and I hope those jobs, those people are rehired. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.